Hey guys, how is it going? Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 is out now and it is heavily unoptimized as it runs like an absolute mess even on higher end systems and its performance on low specs PCs is absolute garbage. So I thought maybe I can tweak the config file and milk some more frames out of the game. So here is my index for today's video as you can see here. Alright guys, let's get going and apply some optimizations. Alright guys, step 1, let's go and optimize the game. First we are gonna go to this PC. After you've opened this PC, go to Windows C where generally your Windows is installed. Go to the file name Users, okay? Now you have to select the default user that you're using and you have installed the game on. So I have installed my game on this one, so click on Apollo that is my username your username may be different okay now go to the top left over here you will get an um, option named view just you will see three checkboxes here okay let's click on the hidden items so that all the hidden folders are now visible you will see a new folder like this one app data click on app data go to the third one roaming after you are in roaming search for your game that is microsoft flight simulator which is right over here click on that and now we will get the last folder user cfg that is the config file that is the hidden file we were searching for so long all right guys so just right click over here um just click on open with select notepad because that's convenient and here we go guys I'm using the RX 550 which is similar to GT 1030. I will post both the benchmarks on this video. Okay, before and after optimization so it's clear right? Alright guys, so if you are using 1080p, change this to 1920 space 1080. Okay, change this one to the same as mentioned. Okay. Now this is something that is important, if you're decreasing this value to like 0.6 or 0.7, your FPS will increase but the visual quality of the game will decrease. So be careful when you're tweaking this one, okay, just keep this one at 0.7, it does not really matter, it does not really affect the visual quality of the game but also it increases the FPS so make it 0.7 guys. Alright guys, so you can now copy all the settings that are here. I have decreased the draw distance of the game by decreasing these values over here. Okay. And I've also decreased the shadow resolution, which is also important. You cannot really disable shadows in this game, but you can go to the lowest 512 resolution. The lowest in game is 768, but the lowest here is 512 so you can do that also copy these two it will be four or five i guess you have to make it one and you have to change this one to 3000 as well just decreasing it you can go lower but i hope 3000 is good okay all right so keep these at low okay just don't enable them just change on the ones to zeros let's go down here guys let's copy all the settings um, now this is important over here now these are the elements of the game which are to be rendered don't disable the buildings okay if you are disabling the buildings you are disabling the entire planet earth you will just get a wide surface on which you will be driving your airplane and that will not be good okay so it will not look good and you should not change it okay you can disable all the vegetations and also you can get some good fps if you are disabling them it does not really matter so disable them so that you can get more FPS okay guys so this part over here post processing is really a personal preference I use this settings over here as you can see you can change it it's your choice alright guys so yeah one more thing we have to go to the graphic settings of the game and we have to change two options over there okay Alright guys, so now we are in the game and remember that you have to set these two options to on because that will decrease the CPU and RAM usage. So that is important. Just switch these two options to on, okay?
Well, that just happened. Alright guys that's it for the benchmarks as you can see applying the optimizations really help decrease the stutters and increase the playability of the game but still some stutters are there and some lag and frame drops are there because of the game's bad optimizations but still at least the game is playable so that is great guys and if you think that it helped you then maybe you can give a like and maybe you can subscribe to this channel i bring content like this all the time well not maybe all the time but sometimes i bring content like this so yeah do give a like if you can and if you face any problems the comment section is down below so you can write over there and guys at the end of this video i would like to thank you for watching